for this webcast, we're looking at this article right here. And it is talking about a young man named Jonathan Brown who lives in Texas. He has dreadlocks, which we know is a type of hairstyle that is fairly common in different ethni ethnicities and cultures. But in December of 2019, he was sent home from school with a note. And it told his mother that he needed to um, cut his hair so that he would not be kicked out of school. His mom, her name is Tiffany Brown, said, I said no, and he cried. Now, many schools have dress codes, and dress codes help keep students focused on learning. And many schools have policies about hair, and policies mean rules. Um, we have what's called um, rules in school. And a one policy might be that you have to have a certain haircut or girls might not be able to wear um, different types of um, short skirts. Um, and this particular one, school had a rule about afros and dreadlocks and they said that it was not allowed but this was not the only um, person in texas that had had trouble in um, january a teen deandre arnold was told he needed to cut his dreadlocks to go to graduation and it really upset them that he had been allowed to wear his hair like this and then all of a sudden he was not allowed. In 2017, we, they had two children in Massachusetts that told they, their parents were told they had detention because of their hair. She says that these types of rules is discriminatory. And discriminatory means that it, it, it is treating people unfairly um, because of things that are very common in their culture. She formed this girl named Essie Eggleston formed the Crown Coalition. And the Crown Coalition, she says, is, is stands for create a respectful and open world for natural hair. And this is his natural hair. So this little boy's mom, Jonathan Brown's mom, went to the school board and that's the people that pass the rules at um, in a school district it's usually about five or six people that have com came together they are elected and they make the rules and after she kept attending this school board the school changed the dress code but this coalition, this Crown Coalition, is hoping to prevent other students from having to go through. So they are making where it'll prevent public schools, charter schools, and workplaces from, you know, being discriminatory, meaning um, treating unfairly people that have decided to wear natural hair. She said that the reason she does this is because when she was growing up, she always felt that her hair was not good enough. And she wants children today to feel like that they, their hair is good enough. She said that there are many 
times when children are being sent home because of their hair hairstyle that is not anything wrong it's just it's their natural hair the crown act which is a law has been passed in five states she says she hopes to give children a feeling of empowerment and a feeling of pride in their hair because men hair is a symbol of strength and it's your part of your individuality and she wants children to feel great about their hair what do you think thank you for watching